Let's go to page uh, 277 and start with number 2. Okay, so you have 4y plus 5y to the 3. Okay, and so A, you want to find the degree of the first term. So here's your first term. So degree is exponent, so the answer is 1. Okay, and for part B, you want to find the degree of the whole polynomial. The degree of a whole polynomial is the highest one. So this is the highest degree, so the answer is 3. Okay, number 4. You have 8x to the 4 minus 3 over 2x minus 2x. Okay, so this is not a polynomial. Okay, this is, does not fulfill the... This one does not meet the requirement for the polynomial. So this is not... A polynomial. Okay, number six. You have six m n two plus eight m three minus twelve m square n minus n cube. So part A, you're looking for degree of the first term. So this one is n is three because you got one degree from here and two from here, so this would be three, the third degree, okay. And for the entire polynomial, this is three, this is three, this is three, this is three. So highest one is three. Okay? Again, for the whole polynomial, you have to look for the highest one. Okay, number eight, you have x y plus five x three plus two. So answer to a. The, the degree of the first time is 2 because you got one degree from here, one degree from here. For part B, the degree of the entire thing is the highest one. So this is the highest one, so this is 3. Okay, so polynomial is degree 3. Okay, number 10. You have y to the negative 3 plus y to the negative 2 plus 6. Well, this is the negative exponent, so if you flip it over, you're going to get 1 over y cubed. Okay, so this is not a polynomial. Okay, for number 12, you got y squared plus square root of 2 plus x. Okay, so this part... It's not a polynomial. Again, the, the polynomial would be the coefficient, the variable, and exponent. That is a pos uh, positive integer. So this is not a polynomial. Okay, number 14. You have x cubed, square root of 6 minus xy plus 2. See, this is a number, it's like a coefficient, okay? So, the first term, so a, the first term would be the third degree, because this is a cube, okay? So, it's okay to have a, it's okay to have the number inside the square root, okay? But you can have a variable inside the square root. So, this one would be third degree, okay? For part b, the whole thing, this is third degree, this is 2, this is 0, so it would be the third degree, or degree 3. Okay. okay, 16, you have 8 over 3x cubed minus 2x minus 5. Okay, so this is a fraction, uh, so this is not a polynomial. So again, the polynomial has to look something like this, okay? Have a, a number, variable, exponent, that is a positive integer. Okay, so this is not a polynomial. Okay, number 18. Okay, write each polynomial in a descending power of indicated variable and find the leading coefficient. Okay, so number 18, you have 10 minus 3y to the 5 plus 4y2 minus 2y3. Okay, and you want to write in the descending order of y, so start with the highest one, so it'd be negative 3y to the 5. And next one would be minus 2y to the 3. 
plus 4y squared plus 10, right? Right in the descending order according to the, the y, okay? And then the leading coefficient, leading coefficient is a coefficient of the leading term, so in this case, answer is equal to negative 3, okay? Okay, number 20, you have 3x3, y plus x to the 4, y squared minus 3xy3. And you want to arrange according to x. Okay, so this is the highest one, so this is the x to the 4, so this one goes first. So x4, y squared. Okay, and then after that you go to the x to the 3, and then to the x to the 2, and x to the 1, and so forth. Okay, so that's how you do a range, and then uh, the coefficient, the leading coefficient is one. It's right over here. When you don't see a number, it's one. Okay, so leading coefficient is a number in front of the variable on the very first term.